Hi guys, it's Jackie from Cruising the World with Jackie. So, um, I know I've been trying to go through my RV stuff and it's taken forever, but this is a cruise. We went on a cruise um, December 9th, I would think about that, through the 16th, MSC Maravilla out of New York, out of Brooklyn, Red Hook. Um, this is a cabin tour and why I wanted to get this out here pretty fast it was a handicap and I know there's always a lot of people in the forums on Facebook asking about handicap um, we just happened to get one um, if you're familiar with MSC you can book um, different what they call experiences well the cheapest is called Bella and that's what we did um, and you don't get to pick so they picked this cabin for us so I'm going to let the tour, I was a little confused, you'll see, but I didn't realize at first it was a handicap um, interior. Um, I'm going to let that run and then at the end of it, stay tuned and I'll give you some of my opinion on the cabin. Thanks. Okay, so this is our room, um, 11053. Of course, it's, it's, you can see it's an interior. It's actually pretty spacious. The weird part about it is it doesn't have a chair or a couch, although a chair probably could fit very nicely there. But yeah. Let me see if there's plugs. Somebody said there were plugs in here. I don't see any. Okay, hold on. Don't let it shut. I don't... I have this thing over, Jack. Okay, so here's our room, interior 11053 on the 11th floor. Okay, so nothing spectacular, pretty much an interior room. Um, we were kind of surprised there's no chair or couch. We knew that. It's just surprising because there looks like there could be room for at least a chair there but there's not okay nice desk area tv not the biggest not the smallest i've ever seen here is the mini bar and it's locked so i guess i'm gonna have to ask for the key because i like to buy some diet cokes and put them in there the ice nothing really spectacular um it's pretty standard Here's the the, oh, the closet. So, I mean, I don't think I could use this when I had the four kid, you know, the four of us with the two kids, but I mean, I think it's fine for the two of us. Okay, and now, there we go. <laughs> okay, and then this side. I mean, it's fine. Nothing spectacular, nothing special here are the sockets looks like there's one USB some European which I didn't bring the converter I could have used that too but I think we'll be fine and the safe let's see safe maybe a little tablet could go in there but definitely not a laptop all right, let's look at the bathrooms. I have always been happy with the MSC bathrooms. So let's see. Huh, this almost looks like a handicap. I'm pretty sure this might be a handicap. They assigned it, we did not request it. Um, oh yeah, because there's a seat. So if you're handicapped, this is what it would look like. We're not. Okay, there's a little seat. There is not the glass door. There's a curtain. I don't like the curtains because they usually touch you, but this one's big enough. I don't think it'll touch us. Toilet, a lot of safety bars. I guess uh, a phone for an emergency. And this area over here. There are washcloths. Somebody said there weren't washcloths. Um, I think that's it. Okay, I have one suitcase. I need to put it away. Two o'clock. I have one suitcase. That's pretty good. And they have nicer towels than the Davina had. They were ugly. 
really ugly color and everything in Davina. So these are nice. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, hit like and subscribe. So we were kind of confused, as you could kind of tell. Um, we let them pick. We did the Bella experience. And we didn't think that we would get a handicap. Um, and in fact, there were people on our floor that had scooters in the hallway, which could have used that room. So I'm not really sure how they assign or how that works. But just to kind of um, our our thoughts on it, um, tons of room. If you are a handicapped person, the door was very wide. It had two peepholes, um, one at a wheelchair level. So that's great. Um, as a non-handicapped person, I really miss our chair or a couch um, to watch TV while I was getting ready or whatever. I missed that. Um, very simple. I mean, it, it's not a huge issue. It just, we did miss that. Um, and I, the weird thing is, is I think you could have had room because on the side with the bed, you probably could have got two wheelchairs on that side. And then there was a side right opposite that there was an opening. I think they still could have put a chair there, but whatever. Um, the bathroom, um, those grates, every time we took a shower, the grates really did not get all the water. Um, so that to me would worry me if I was a problem that a person who had a problem with mobility because it was wet and a little slippery after each shower. Of course, if you were truly in a wheelchair, I guess you would wheel it in and you wouldn't have to worry about walking in it. But that was something I think could have been, could be an issue. Um, a very huge, a really funny kind of story for my husband um, is that we had really bad weather. And when I get into the rest of the videos, I will talk about that. But we had really it's the first time in like 20 years I've taken um, any seasick stuff but my husband was in the shower and I guess he didn't latch the bathroom door he just you know just kind of pushed it shut and he came flying I mean the door came open he came flying almost into the bedroom from when he was taking the shower um, so there are rails there and there is a seat there so I'm assuming if you were handicapped you would be sitting in the seat you would be sitting on the seat and you would not fly out of the bathroom. Although I do wonder with that kind of pressure if you would fall off the chair. I don't know. Um, it was funny for my husband. It, well, it would not be funny if you were handicapped and got hurt. But that was an extreme weather. Like I said, it was crazy. Um, so, uh, if you have any questions about the room, put it down below and I'll answer them as best as I can. Um, it was very big for an interior because it was handicapped. The door was very large. Um, oh, one thing I really did like about this cabin is this is the first cabin that I can think of at the top of my head where the climate control actually worked. Now, I know you're going to say, well, they're in every room. I know they're in every room, but um, if you're like me, a woman of a certain age, and we get hot flashes, you'll know that you can mess with those um, controls and they don't really change the temperature that drastically either way. I think they're mostly there for looks. They might change it one or two degrees, but honestly, I don't think they do much. This one actually seemed to work very well. Um, so I was happy with that. And I think that's really about it. If you have questions, like I said, I want to get this out there because um, for handicapped people to actually see what they're booking, I think it's excellent. Um, questions, put them down and I will get back to you. Um, have a great day, have a great week. Um, like and subscribe. Thank you.